What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 5 iOS 11.3.1 tweaks for August 2018. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Avertis. This tweak allows you to easily switch between applications, close out of applications, and lock your device through very easy and fast gestures. So to switch between applications with this tweak, you slide up from the bottom left part of your screen like this, and you get this pop-up just like this. It'll show you all the recent applications that you opened on your device, and you can just go ahead and release your finger on any of these, and it'll quickly take you to that app just like that. And again, this allows you to very you know, rapidly switch between applications, so... And it'll just speed up that process for you, as you can see, just like this. Now, if you go ahead and slide up from the other side of the bottom, the right side, it'll go ahead and close whichever application you're in and bring you to the home screen just like this. So uh, just a fast way to exit applications, as you can see. Now, once you are on the home screen, you could swipe up again from the right side to lock your device just like that. So uh, so some very useful options here. So if you guys jump over to settings, you could go into Avertis. And in here, there's various different options. So we have the toggles for the quick switcher and the hot corner. So of course, quick switcher is the ability to switch between all the applications here and hot corners is the ability to close applications and lock your device through the other side and you can enable or disable those two features here there's also some different options down here so i want to point out the uh, set opacity in the quick switcher slider here so basically if you want to see the app previews when you're using the quick switcher you could go ahead and turn this up and uh, basically because it's in the middle now the cards are going to be transparent as you can see right there and you'll actually be able to see those applications when you're using the quick switcher however if you want it to be completely visible and not transparent you could turn it all the way up and as you can see right here now you could just see those cards when you're using the quick switcher so that's definitely a nice option i also want to point out the access app switcher option so basically with this enabled you know everything works pretty much the same you could uh, switch between the applications using the same way that i just mentioned but if you want to actually open up the app switcher you could just slide up and then release basically just like that and then it'll take you right to the app switcher so that's definitely a nice option as well size finder allows you to easily determine how much storage an application is taking up so basically you just go ahead and place your device into wiggle mode and the x's on applications will be replaced by the amount of storage that said application is taking up for instance as you can see over here on my youtube application it says 126 megabytes where that x would normally be and you know for Spotify it says 92 megabytes etc so it just allows you to easily determine that now that no functionality is lost here you can still go ahead and tap on that button and it will allow you to delete the application just like that so you know it just adds some functionality to an area in iOS that normally doesn't have functionality so you could easily check how much storage apps are taking up Better badges changes the way that badges work in iOS. So you might notice on a messages application, you'll see a little bit of a border on the top and same thing with the app store. And that's because I do have badges for those applications. They're just hidden. I could go ahead and slide up on these applications to reveal the badges just like this. And as you can see right there, you know, the badges are very sleek looking. It's no longer the indicator in the corner. You can see it's just, you know, kind of above the application. It'll say the number and I actually have it set so it matches the color of the application as well. And you could just go ahead and slide down on the applications that have badges to hide the badges just like that. If you guys jump over to settings and open up better badges, there's various different options to configure with the way that the tweak looks and works as you can see in here. And some, some options that I want to point out are, first of all, the match app color, which I do have on, which again, will match the badges to the color of the app. I'm just going to turn that off to show you guys what it looks like without that on. I also want to point out the always show option. Now, that's off right now. However, if I turn it on, basically, it's going to automatically show those badges so I no longer have to actually swipe up to show them. So if you, you know, just want to automatically see those badges without having to swipe up to reveal them, you could go ahead and toggle that on. So I'm just going to go ahead and respring now to apply the changes that I made. All right, so as you can see here, the changes did take an effect. Basically, my badges are now automatically showing. It's not like I have to swipe up to show them. Of course, I could still hide them if I wanted to like this, but that is the case. You also notice that it no longer matches the color of the application. So they're actually back to the standard red. And of course, when you hide them, you can see there it basically just has that little red border as opposed to, you know, the color of the application. Color My Dock allows you to customize your dock to any color of your choice. As you can see right here, I have red set right now. So to set this up, just jump over to settings and you could go ahead and open Open up color my dock and here you could enable or disable the tweak then you could go ahead and choose the color of your dock so you could just go ahead and move these sliders around to get the exact color that you want there's a various configuration here and just go ahead and hit select now there's also an option to get the dock color from your current wallpaper if you want to do that base it off of that but i'm just going to go ahead and hit apply changes and then respring and then of course your color will apply i just changed mine to green as you can see 
Square code allows you to customize the passcode entering interface. So if I go to my lock screen here, you can see the passcode interface does look different. So you can see a few different changes that I made here. The shape of the buttons is now square as opposed to circle. As you can see, the color, I made it a purplish kind of tint just like this. And you can see there are the text that normally says enter passcode says ultimate eye device vids. So to set this tweak up, you jump over to settings and you can open up a square code and you have various different options to configure in here. You have the pad button options here. You can enable or disable. Then you have the button corner radius, basically the shape the, the lower the number is the more it's going to be like a square and the higher the number is the more it's going to be circular the custom color you could customize that here as well then you also have this pad option down here if you enable this it'll basically create a pad around where your passcode buttons are that, again you could also customize the corner radius for that and you could have it be a certain color so i'm just going to make it orange right now and you can, of course, you could also change the lock screen text, which I put as ultimate device vid. So uh, I'll show you what this pad looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and respring to apply the change. And as you guys can see right here, we have this, again, pad around there. If you want to have that, you know, and again, it'll show up in, in the color that you choose. And it just kind of refreshes the way that things look. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.